Yo, what is good, Dev guys? Welcome back. If you made it this far, congratulations, man. Uh, you you have a modular character system set up, pretty much. Uh, you can continue to add assets to the system. You can continue to improve the animations and things like that. Uh, the last thing I want to show you guys was how to add the actual customization debug screen that we had here to the main menu. So that's what we need to nav Let's navigate to the the main menu wherever it is in this project uh, i think it, if we go to here we go our front end this is the place where we actually see our main menu when we hit play here we want to add a button to this menu so what we're going to do is find this uh, ui element and go ahead and do that and let's look for if we search all for front end We'll start seeing everything that has to do with the front end. And there we go, the, the Lyra front end manager or widget here. Just double click, open that. And we're gonna do this real simple like. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm gonna take this button. I'm going to duplicate it. And uh, I'm going to rename this to the customization tab. And we'll change the, the words on it to say customization. And you can do more with this. Uh, of course, if you look at this, uh, there's an animation that plays where the buttons pop in like this. So, I mean, if you wanted the your new button to fit in with this animation and not just be there, I mean, of course you would come in here and follow the same logic as the rest of the buttons uh, to make them pop in. Uh, 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 like in order so yeah that's up to you guys it's not too important for me right now but when we come over to the graph what is important is that whenever we press our customization button so let's look for the on base button clicked whenever we press this button we want to push a content for layer for player and we'll go ahead and duplicate this and the the content will push is the customization screen uh where is this at i think it's the i gotta remember the name of the screen what do we call it i want to there it is uh the modular screen uh the modular character screen host so that's our actual ui element uh do we want to suspend input until complete i mean that's okay with me uh, and we'll compile if we press play here, we should get an option here to open this up and you see uh, our player there. If we go and do some, some edits here, uh, you can see nothing works because we don't have this character in the level and so nothing functions. We go back, it takes us back. If we quit, uh, we just go ahead and quit that. I, I, I didn't get any errors, so I mean, the, the me knowing that we don't have the actual character in the the level is my own knowledge but it didn't give me any errors which is kind of weird so let me go to this background level which is where it, you know all of this stuff is happening and then let's put him in a place where he can't be seen but i mean could be a little bit lit like maybe right here so we'll drag in our actors modular character and drag in a preview actor and i mean it's a little dark on him let's grab a light and uh, just grab a spotlight put it on him just rotate it towards him so he's a little bit more lit so we'll have that and i do believe that that would be enough to to be able to edit and update this guy. So if we press play here, customization, you can see he's lit now. I still don't see any, there we go. We got some changes happening. If we click on them, we save them. But uh, another thing that I didn't do, and I'll do it in like a bonus video, is whenever you hover off, it should use the last skin that you had uh, attached actually we could probably handle that in this video we're pretty much done with this so uh, we got him with the jacket and the jeans on we'll we'll hit back I, I that apply changes button does not work but if we hit play lyra let's do start a game 
Uh, we'll go to elimination because I believe that is using the same controller. I'm going to change this to land. I don't want any bots. And then I'll hit elimination. And we should start in with our modular character. So if we take a look, we have nothing. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. It's uh, fairly interesting there. So there's something going on with the connection. So let's look, let's take a look at that actual level. And that is, is it expanse? I think it is expanse. And since we have no regions loaded, we need to select here and right click and say load region from selection. Okay, so this is the level we were trying to play. If we just play in here, what happens? If we just play, we come in with our character, but uh, he's not using the, the animations. Some weird stuff going on. There's a couple bugs. But we do see that our modular character is working correctly so i actually don't want to press that on in this video in the next video we'll go ahead and like f try to figure out what these issues are so if you guys are ready to fix these problems that are popping up i'll see you in the next video peace